everybody. How's it going? Hope you're doing well today and thank you for stopping by for another video. If this is your first time here um, and you are enjoying the content of the channel, please consider subscribing and make sure that you hit the notification icon so that you will be aware of any future uploads. So today we are doing another individual fragrance review. And if this is your first time to the channel, then you probably aren't aware of the fact that I don't do very many of these. When I started the channel, I decided that in order to do an individual fragrance review, that the fragrance would have to meet certain criteria, three things in particular. So first and foremost, it would have to be an exceptional fragrance, not only in the way that it smells, but also in the quality. It couldn't be just one that I kind of like or I kind of enjoy. It would have to be a true love. And um, number two, it would have to be something that I find unique, um, especially the composition or the ingredients. Or it could be just that I've never personally smelled anything like it before, or it nicely fills a void in my collection. And then number three, um, there would have to be some kind of story or connection, maybe a memory attached to the fragrance that I felt like I wanted to pass on and share it with you guys. I definitely feel like the selection today fits all three of those points that I just mentioned in one way or the other. You may have heard of it already because I did include this in my recent video on favorite fougeres. And uh, you may have been able to tell that even though I wasn't uh, trying to make that a, a ranking type list, um, that I was pretty excited about this one. And it has kind of made its way to the front of the pack, so to speak. So let's get to the fragrance. What we're talking about is Authenticity Perfumes Barbershop. And it was uh, really cool to find out that this uh, brand, um, their base of operation is actually in Tidewater, Virginia. When I first came across them and I jumped on their Instagram page, I noticed that a lot of their posts, the location was marked as being either Norfolk, Virginia or Virginia Beach, Virginia. And I reached out to them and verified that indeed that's where they were working out of. So I thought that was cool because I do have a connection to that area. I used to, to live um, up that way and my wife and her family are from Norfolk. Uh, and uh, they migrated over to the Virginia Beach area and then finally to Chesapeake. That's where they were living when I met her. And uh, she and I lived there for a little while before moving back to my home state of North Carolina. So I thought, you know, having that connection was cool. And I definitely wanted to, to try them out to see what was coming out of that area. And I must say, they did not disappoint. The four fragrances that I tried were very, very nice. This one was the standout for me, though, and therefore that's why I'm doing the video today. Well, let's talk about the presentation. Looking at the bottle here, I really like this because it is very simple. It's classic. I like how the label is uh, done with uh, the border, the red and white diagonal stripe border, kind of like a barber pole. And I really uh, like how that it's, it's kind of blurred, so it, it gives the label a nice effect. The bottle itself, the glass, is uh, very heavy. Um, the cap is very well done. I like um, the, the longer shaft for the nozzle there because I just feel like, you know, in most cases, the, uh, the cap fits down very nice and snug on that. So you don't have to worry about, you know, picking it up from the cap. And um, the atomizer too is, uh, is really nice. It uh, really sprays out a nice uh, mist cloud. So let's look at the notes for Barbershop. Um, and I got these from the website, AuthenticityPerfumes.com, because uh, they're not yet listed on Fragrantica. They, they need to be. Uh, but the top notes in Barbershop are uh, bergamot and lemon. Your mid notes are basil, fir, and oak moss. And your base notes are patchouli, cedarwood, and musk. So you could say that it's a rather simple composition, um, not a lot of a lot of notes here, like you would typically find in a fougere scent. But what does it smell like? Well, the fragrance doesn't smell simple in the least. It's very well done, expertly blended, very balanced. 
It's one of those that progresses um, in a very nuanced way from opening through the drawdown, which I really enjoy. Um, so in other words, if you were just spraying it on and really weren't paying any attention, you might miss a lot. But of course, that's not how most of us are. If, if you're a fragrance enthusiast, then no doubt when you spray something on, especially when you try it for the first time, you're constantly checking it. Um, as it, it dries down to see if and how it changes. Um, but yes, it's a very gradual change with this one. And again, I like it that way. I like to experience the, the dry down like that very slowly. So I can kind of pick up on those you know, subtle um, changes, those subtle little nuances that come along. So I'm just gonna spray a strip here. And then I've got another one that I sprayed about an hour ago. That way we can kind of um, compare the opening with the dry down a little bit. So this one starts very nice, bright, fresh with the, the citrus, the bergamot, the, the lemon. But it already, you can really see that sweet basil um, coming in. It, and the way that it combines, it's just, it's, it's such a, a great combination. And then after a while um, in the dry down, you're able to pick up a little bit more on the, the pungent uh, green, the, uh, the cedar wood, and then of course the oak moss, which um, kind of pulls everything together and gives it that true fougere kind of feel. But to be honest, it's the sweet basil that really to me is the standout here. I think that's what makes this so unique and so I said in my my fougere video that this smells very Italian and um, I described how you know it, it kind of um, evokes this whole you know mental uh, picture this whole image in my mind that yes does include a sweet pasta sauce simmering on a stove I, I know that sounds weird but it, it does have everything to do with that, that basil. But this, this is just a, such a nice scent, folks. It is a really, really great fougere. Another great thing about Authenticity perfumes that I will point out is the fact that their fragrances come at a 50% oil concentration. So that means that you're going to get superb performance from these. I know the few days that I've been able to wear Barbershop since I've gotten the sample and then the full bottle, um, I, it's gotten me through the work day. It's lasted about 10, 11 hours, which is really, really good considering my skin type. So I'd really have to say all in all, looking back over that criteria that I listed at the very beginning, um, as far as the scent profile is concerned, the quality of the fragrance, and then the uniqueness, I would have to give Barbershop a solid 9.5 out of 10. It's just a really, really great fougere scent, folks. Um, I'd highly recommend it. And I'd highly recommend you uh, jump over to their website, which again is AuthenticityPerfumes.com. I'll leave the link down below as well as their Instagram account. Uh, so check them out. Um, you can get samples. So uh, order a few of the samples and, you know, just to see uh, what you think. If you're not a fougere type of person, then I'm sure there's something there that, um, that you're going to find, find interesting, find that you like. So that will do it for this video. I hope that you've enjoyed this one about um, Authenticity Perfumes Barbershop. I hope that uh, you'll head over there and uh, check them out. And um, if you haven't already subscribed, uh, please do so. Uh, also hit that notification icon as we mentioned at the outset to make sure that you are informed of any videos that I upload in the future. Until the next one, I hope that you guys take care. You stay safe out there. See you.